Oh, the excitement of the NCAA basketball tournament. WBOC takes pride in being able to bring you the excitement on the hard court. And sometimes that excitement, well, it spills over to Delmarva life. That's what happened last Friday when Jimmy interviewed gardening expert Jenny Rosencrans about daffodils and other spring bulbs. So what do you say we try again? With us this afternoon is gardening expert Jenny Rosencrans from the University of Maryland Extension Office joining us with the answers. How are you, Jenny? I am so fine. I have all my friends here. They're so fragrant. And it, spring is definitely here. I just love all the colors. And I'm so glad to share them with you guys. I'm loving that. You know what? I just said yellow daffodils, but it looks like you have some white daffodils there, too. That's the beauty of daffodils. You can have little yellow ones, yellow ones that have orange trumpets. Like these little tete a have uh, gold uh, petals, but the trumpets are more of an orange gold. And then you can have like the daffodils that are white with petals that are white in the back, but then the trumpets are yellow or gold. And then you can have the ones that are just solid butter yellow. There's so many ones, in the, and some of them are fragrant, which is a bonus for me, because I love them when they're fragrant. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, obviously, if we didn't plant our bulbs back in the fall, we missed the bus. Is there anything we need to do to, to prep the ground or anything to get ready for these guys to keep coming up? Um, actually, no, you don't really have to worry too much. Uh, but, you know, there is hope for people who every now and then didn't get around to planting all the, bul the bulbs. If you have a chance... Anytime now, uh, while it's still cool, go ahead and plant them. Just make sure that they're planted deep enough because all these bulbs need to be planted. Well, the smaller bulbs about four or three to four inches deep, but the daffodil should go at least six to eight inches deep into the ground. And, and it's still okay to do that right now. Um, the one thing that I notice at my place is that I have mulch in my gardens and sometimes the bulbs are forcing themselves up through the mulch and they're kicking the mulch up and I have to come by and, and take the mulch off and just sprinkle it around a little bit. And they're like, oh, thank you. I can breathe again. <laughs> because I have the mulch to keep the weeds down, but not my daffodils. Oh, okay. Not my daffodils. <laughs> nope, not keeping them down. No, 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 no. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to ask you the typical questions. Sunlight, shade, water? Well, I think that's a very smart question. Um, all of these love full sun. I mean, I have a, this is a little teeny tiny uh, tulip and tulips right now, this is the earliest blooming tulip. So, and it's so tiny, it's called a crocus tulip. They all love full sun. The crocuses, the tulips, the hyacinths, the daffodils. But a lot of times they'll appreciate some afternoon shade. And the reason why I say that is that we're really far south for these bulbs. These bulbs originally came from the mountains in like, uh, Pakistan, Kazakhstan, Turkey, all those places where the winters are cold and the, the summers are cool and they have rain only in the springtime. So if we can go ahead and give them full sun, but sometimes a little bit of afternoon shade from a deciduous tree, not an evergreen tree, then they'll be very, very happy. Okay, so uh, you know I'm going to ask you this, and I'm guessing here, that's, that's a hyacinth there by your left hand, right? These guys, it, that's a neat thing also about daffodils and hyacinths and, and crocuses. You can plant them and they will come back year after year after year after year after year. I can sometimes find old houses, uh, the outline of them, from looking at where the hyacinths are coming up, where the daffodils are coming up, and where the crocuses are coming up. One thing I love about the hyacinths is the fragrance is so intense. So some people say it's a little too intense. Mm. I don't think so. <laughs> but they come in so many beautiful colors. They come in pink and white and blue and purple and bright red and yellow. Oh, my goodness. Pick a color. Wow. Any color. It, it's that time of year. I'm so ready for it. All right. We're out of time, but I got to ask you real quick. Do, do we uh, any kind of fertilizer or anything or just water when I come up? Actually, you know, bulbs really don't need an awful lot of fertilizer. I would say maybe once every two to three years, you could go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of maybe 5, 10, 10, or just add compost to your soil. And that will give all the nutrition that these guys need. They're very, very economical with that. I'm liking that. Gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz, University of Maryland Extension Office, joining us with all the answers. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you for having me and my friends. <laughs>